Okay, th this is going to be a bit tricky because I probably need three hands for this um, and probably two brains as well. I'm just going to show you how to uh, pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2014 Bentley Continental. Uh, you start the procedure off on here though and then you go to the steering wheel so hence I'm just holding this uh, GoPro here so it may be a bit shaky, uh, please forgive me. Um, so on the screen here, telephone, info, car, map, media, radio. So we go to telephone, click on telephone. Please connect your mobile telephone via instrument cluster using the steering wheel controls. So we go over to here and hopefully you will be able to see. I'll just go up there, but so we go to menu. It says connect there, no paired phone found, connect. So we go down, just turn that down. New user, click on new user. It's now searching. We go here quickly. Oh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth is on. And then we're watching out at the bottom. It's picked up Barry's iPhone 13 Pro over here. So I'm going to click on that. 657, the Bluetooth pairing request pair. Confirm password over here. So click the button OK. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Allow. Now, this will be interesting here because I can't just find a way of deleting a mobile. I've not looked at the instructions because I don't do that. Now, it says three users already there. Delete users. So I'm going to go down to one of these, click on OK, delete, OK. User phone deleted. So Barry's iPhone 13 Pro user profile uh, connected. In the Bentley, it would appear there's no way of deleting a mobile unless you're already trying to uh, pair another one. So that's, uh, that's a very strange system, but uh, that's the way it is. So that's how you do that. Okay, I'll just show you how to stream audio or play music through the system in this 2014 Bentley GT. So from any screen over here, like for instance, you're on nav there or, or map, we click media, click on media, Bluetooth, no device. Well, that's strange because I've just paired a mobile so let's just have a look. Connected, Bentley connected. So it is connected. So what we'll do now, we'll go to music, click on the silver triangle and the three single, silver circles. So there's nothing showing here. Right, so now then, over to the steering wheel control, click menu, I'll just, just go down like so. Oops, where we go. Bluetooth, click on Bluetooth. It says their user, new user, visibility, media player. So down to media player. Click on the thumb wheel, active device, paired devices. Down to paired device. Barry's iPhone 13 Pro, click on that. We'll just see if anything comes up here. Oh, we'll hang on. <laughs> As I say, we're going to have to have uh, several <laughs> hands here. So click on that. Connecting. Bentley's come up. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Now, when I play any music on this um, iPhone, it will come through the system. That there is now showing BT Audio. So that's co connected. So we'll go back here. Me and Mrs. Jones, I don't want that garbage. So we've got Sweet Caroline there. I'm going to turn that up and then volume here. Now for some reason when I, when I do this in a, a VW, because it's been paired to another vehicle, it always crackles. So I have to shut the music app, reopen it. We'll click play again. And there it is, it's perfect. So 
I don't know why it is, but it always seems to be on the, kind of the Volkswagen system. And obviously the Bentley is a, the same as the VW. So if you have any problems with crackling and stuff, shut your music down, knock it off completely, open it again and click play and it'll play all right. Hopefully that, this is going to be a car crash video really because it's, I've just not got enough hands to do it. Once you've done it, you only have to do it once and then it's sorted. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav in this uh, 2014 Bentley Continental. So from any screen, if we go onto nav like so, click on nav, you'll see there in the bottom left-hand corner is new destination. Click new destination. Sorry, just checking my cameras were going there. New destination, address. Click on address. Now you've got city and postcode. Uh, if we click on city and postcode, then the <laughs> trying to click the actual postcode doesn't work. So you've got to click on the side, the city and postcode. And then we're Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, High Walton, Preston P, R. We now need to go to numbers. So over in the corner, the bottom left hand corner there, if we click on that, we've got the numbers up and it's five, four, back to A to Z there, E. A, PR5, 4EA, click on that to select, enter street, I don't want to do that, enter destination from that, finish destination entry, start route guidance, that's it, I, I just want the postcode, so you can narrow it down, but I've clicked start route guidance. The route is being calculated. Now that shows it on the screen there. Please make a U-turn if possible. And it also shows it on the dash in the centre. That's how you do that.